Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Miss Casita and I'm here with my helper, Larry the Lizard. And we're here in a permanent exhibition of art at the Emma S. Barrientos Mexican American Cultural Center. It's called Uprooted Dreams and it was created in partnership with visual artist Margarita Cabrera, who's from Mexico, and Arts in Public Places. They're the ones that put all that cool art around our city. In this project, Margarita wanted to do something for immigrants living here in Austin, so she invited participants from the immigrant community to come and make art. And some of them were not necessarily artists, but they had to learn this, pro this folk art tradition called alibrijes. And so she invited two people from Mexico, Sergio and Luz, who practice this folk art tradition, to come in and teach the participants from the beginning to end how to make alibrijes. And they started by collecting wood from Roy Guerrero Park right here in Austin to designing their alibrijes, carving the wood, and sanding it before they finally painted it and then presented the alibrijes to the communities. And what they produced was this beautiful exhibit made up of creatures that are from their imaginations and really colorful with a lot of designs. And so I'm gonna take you on a tour right now of the exhibit, and so you can see some of these really cool alibrijes. You ready, Lit? You ready, Larry? Larry's ready, so let's go. So here we are, uh, me and Larry, and we're gonna walk you through this exhibit. It's really cool because we have so many different types of alibrijes. Everybody makes their own style, and you can see that some of them look like things that you've seen before, but some of them look completely new, and you have to use your imagination for them. did you think about that tour? Wasn't it awesome? Yeah, I really love this collection and I get to work here on a daily basis and the Alibrijes keep us company here. And so now you're gonna hear the story about Pedro Linares who created this folk art tradition and how he started it from a dream that he had where the Alibrijes came and talked to him, which is really crazy. So, so listen to the story and then afterwards, you're gonna see how I made my own Alibrije pop-up card, which I encourage you guys to make and to think about. You can use our designs or you can create your own Alibrije pop-up card. Uh, based on your own imagination. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the story, and then we'll get to making. Pedro Linares and his magical alibrijes. Había una vez. Once upon a time in Mexico, there was a 12-year-old boy named Pedro Linares who worked making sculptures out of paper mache or cartoneria. Like his father before him, Pedro began making masks, small figures, and skeletons from paper and glue. 
Pedro wasn't content for making these simple objects though, so he decided to stretch the craft far beyond the mask and small horses that his father had made to make piñatas, which he sold in mercados, or markets, throughout the capital of Mexico City. Expanding his paper mache craft, he made skeletal figures called calaveras and piñatas honoring his clients' dead ancestors for Mexico's Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead celebration, which is November 1st and 2nd. Years later, at the age of 30, Perdo became terribly ill one day con una fiebre, a fever. Not having access to medical attention, Perdo decided to lay in bed and rest. Soon, after falling asleep, he dreamt of a forest that was strange, yet peaceful at the same time. He saw a landscape where everything was bigger than in real life, including oversized rocks and trees and an amazing sky. In the dream, Pedro didn't feel the pain caused by the fever, but rather, he felt good as new. With newfound strength, Perdo walked through the paths of the bosques, or forests of his dreams, admiring the beautiful ambiente, environment. Suddenly, everything began to change shape. The clouds, the rocks and trees began to sprout arms and legs and wings. <gasps> These inanimate objects formed themselves into creatures that resembled animals, yet were different than anything Perdo had seen in his young life. Perdo saw mules with dragon wings, roosters with antlers, creatures that resembled griffins and dragons, and many others. They had brilliant colors and patterns covering their bodies. As these monstrous creatures begin coming towards Linares, they begin shouting the same word. Alibrijes, Alibrijes, Alibrijes! Perdo was afraid of these unusual and powerful beings that were repeating the same gibberish word over and over again. Perdo was unsure if the creatures were giving him a warning or threatening him harm. However, the noise of their chanting was tremendous and it was so shocking that it caused him to wake up. When he awoke, his fever had subsided. The strange dream stayed with him and he decided to tell others what he had experienced. He made his way to his native land of Arazola, Oaxaca in Mexico and he began using cartoneria to make the creatures that had come to him in his dream. Though he was a well-known artist, people were not eager to buy his new animal-like sculptures. At first, people did not want to buy the alibrijes because they were too monstrous. However, Perdo's work caught the eye of a gallery owner who helped to advertise his creations that were unlike anything already on the market. His work soon became popular, and even re-owned Mexican artists Diego Rivera and Frida Kahlo began asking for alibrijes from Perdo. After sharing his vision with other artists in Arazola, Manuel Jimenez took up the idea and began making the designs into vivid alibrijes. But instead of using paper mache, Manuel began making them out of copal wood. Now, wood carving was a tradition of the native Zapotec peoples of Oaxaca, and Jimenez merged the two styles to create the contemporary style of alibrijes we know today. Linares did well at selling his work in Mexico, but he received international fame after documentarian Judith Bernowski made a film about his work in 1975 called Pedro Linares, Artesano de Carton. This made Pedro famous throughout the world, and in 1990, Pedro was even awarded the National Prize for Popular and Traditional Arts, which is the highest award given to artists by the Mexican government. Pedro Linares Lopez passed away in 1992 at the age of 85. However, his folk tradition of alibrijes are celebrated throughout Mexico and the world to this. Perdo Linares' and Manuel Jimenez's family continue the tradition of making alibrijes and the craft has become a national folk tradition. Many other artists such as Master Artesanos, Ranufo Sergio Ibenes, and Lucia Luria Sosa in Arazola have also taken up the craft and began to create their own unique designs and to teach others the art form. Now, if you travel to Mexico, you will see many other artists making alibrijes. 
each one very different from the rest. Or, to save a plane trip, just come to the M.A.S. Barrientos Mexican American Culture Center in Austin to see a permanent Uprooted Dreams, an art installation that features over 19 individual alibrijes created by Austinites. The end. Gather your materials. You need construction paper, glue, glitter, paint, any other craft supplies you have around that might be good for decorating the card. These can be found objects, anything that will fit in there. I like to use cotton balls for the clouds. I, you can see here that I use construction paper to cut the grass. Really, whatever you have on hand will be great. Next, pick your construction paper and your alibrije, or you can decide to make your own alibrije out of construction paper. Then you're going to fold your construction paper, and as you can see here, you're going to cut two lines in the paper from the folded side in that piece inside so you can see here in the image we have the little tab that sticks up from the folded side and then when you fold it inside to the reverse you're going to have this little tab that sticks up inside the card that is going to be what holds up your alibrije when you open the card this next part is my favorite part it's where you get to decorate your alibrije and be creative. These alibrijes came to Pedro Linares in a dream, and so they were so fantastic. They were brightly colored, and they all look different. Not anything that we've ever seen, so you can make it your own. Attach the alibrije to the pop-up tab with glue. I like glue paste is the best, um, but liquid glue will also work. You may just have to wait a little while for it to dry. Before and you wanna have the feet of the animal kind of the base of the image to the base of the tab so that not much of it gets folded over. It can be folded over, but if you want them to stand up at their max, you want to glue kind of the top part of the animal as high as you can. Next, you can decorate your background. And I like to remember Pedro Linares and his story when the Alibrijes first came to him in his stream and think about that as my background. What would that look like? And there you have it. You Here is my first Alibrije pop-up card. And next, you're gonna see a time-lapse video where I created another one just for inspiration for you. But I look forward to seeing what you all make today in class. Mm -hmm.